dancing all night. Look alive, sunshine. You know what it is. I am your host, Shadow Fang here, and I bring you another episode of Persona 4 Dancing All Night. This will probably be the last video I do until after the holidays. Christmas. Yeah, that'll work. Anyway, hope your guys' week went well. I am exhausted. Anyway, let's jump right into it. There was an extra scene after the last video I posted, but I had to cut that off early. It was a shower scene, and I'm not sure how strict YouTube's guidelines are. So, yeah, I was not wanting to risk it. So, I had to skip all the way to the investigation. So, without further ado, let's get to it. I contacted Dojima-san and met up with him and his daughter at the library near my home. Luckily, my place isn't too far from the er er arena where LMB Fest is being held, so this library is pretty close to where Dojima and Nanako are staying. Oh, I can't take any more. My brain's gonna explode if I jam any more words in there. What's this? You've barely gotten through half your share. You're the one that asked me for help, you know. I know, but why are we at a library? I thought since you're a detective, that we'd do stuff like follow suspects and go on stakeouts. <laughs> Who would we follow? Where will we stake out? I haven't even confirmed yet that what you told me is true. Though I admit, I still haven't gotten any word from the kids. But at their age, not being around for a day doesn't mean I can declare that they've gone missing. Huh? So you don't believe Oops. me, Dojima-san? But I'm honestly telling the truth. Seeing doubt from my rescuer, I can't help but to stand up and protest. I thought he believed me. I know I shouldn't be raising my voice in the library, but I still can't back down from this. I know, so sit back down. I don't doubt that you saw what you told me you did. I said so yesterday. But in my experience, cases like these tend to have a trick behind them that makes people see what isn't so. A trick? Right. That's why things might have happened just the way you described them. But your account alone doesn't prove whether this incident is supernatural or not. Then again, some things in this world just can't be explained. Mm, makes sense. With that, Dojima glances towards Nanako. Hmm? Has he been through something with Nanako that can't be explained? I'm pretty curious, but I try to steer the conversation back to on topic. Mm. There are computers over there, though. Wouldn't it be faster to just search the internet than deal with an avalanche of paper? Just leave that to the professionals. I've asked an acquaintance of mine to look into that a bit. Someone in the police department? Wow, you really are a police detective, huh? He's doing it as a personal favor. And he's already found some fishy business. Hearing Dojima say fishy, I sneak a sniff of my own wrist. Weird. I was tired yesterday, but I made sure to take a bath before I just had to go to bed. Fishy? No, not you. But let's leave that aside for now. The thing is, information you find on the internet is like a bunch of unwanted gifts from heaven knows who. Unless we have a good handle on what's right or wrong, we can't get what we need from it. So it's faster in the end to just find the information you need on your own. Huh, is that how it is? Weren't you going to... Do anything to help out? Of course! I have to do everything I can! At Dojima's words, I pull myself together and dive back into the storm of texts in front of me. You and the others are in trouble. After all, if I don't do this, who will? Can I ask you something, Nashta? You just met you and his friends, right? Why are you going out on a limb for them? They called me a friend. I've been an oddball ever since I was young. I, I went into Oops. showbiz because I looked up to this certain lady, and I've been lucky enough to make it a career. But even now, I don't know how to be friends with the other members of my group. So, that's why it made me real happy for those guys to call me their friend. I see. Well, Oops. tagging along like this is fine, but all you can help out with is digging up information. Refrain from doing things on your own or making careless actions. 
Don't go about sticking your head in any deeper than necessary. Understood? Yes, I'll do it. I'll help out. I'll help too. Is that so? <laughs> we just have to investigate this together. I just have to investigate. Yay! Give me a break. <laughs> well, anyway, let's keep looking around. She is so precious. You start looking through those gossip magazines and find any articles that might be related to this case. A troubled look appears on Dojima's face while Nanako smiles. I'm so happy. Yu's group called me their friend, and even though my story makes no sense, Dojima still is helping me. Shouldn't you flip is and still to is still helping me? Sorry. <laughs> a warmth fills my heart, a feeling like I'm not alone in this. What about me? Should I look through gossip too? Um, this one with a lady in a swimsuit on it? Uh, no, no, you, you don't need to read that. You should... Uh... You'll be our supervisor, Nanaka-chan. This stack is the ones we've already read. And these are the ones we haven't looked through yet. You just hand them to me and your dad from the right stack, so we know which one to go through next. Okay, I can do that. Thank you. Sorry for saddling you with her, too. Oh, not at all. Now, time to start investigating. Ugh, <sighs> I'm so dead tired. Articles that might be related to this. Cyber terrorism? Like computer viruses and things? Hmm. Wait a second. Viewers of a music festival site have fallen into comas. Is it a curse? Or is this what doctors are calling mass lethargy syndrome? Lethargy. Dojima san! Mass lethargy syndrome. That's a phrase I hadn't expected to come up here. Do you know something about it? That's exactly that fishy business I mentioned earlier. I met with my local contact this morning, and the same topic came up. We didn't talk about the victim's current state, but the way this article talks, it sounds like it's claimed a number of people. This might be worth looking into. I'll see what I can find. That would be great! Thank you! I think I was helpful. Feeling a little proud, I happened to look at the clock on the wall and panic. W what? I hadn't noticed, but it's already past noon! Wait a sec. What's wrong? Oh no! I need to get going! I have a dance lesson this afternoon! Don't worry about this stuff. You told me there's not much time until this festival thing, right? Either way, I'll take things from here. You do what you have to. I, uh, I'm sorry. Hanamine, are you leaving? We'll see each other soon, okay? Or, do you want to come along, Nanako-chan? Though, all I'm doing is having a lesson over at the studio. Really? I want to come! Nanako, don't bother the lady. It's not okay? I wanted to hang out with Nanaka-chan a little longer. Oh, what a sweet older sister type you are. That's all well and good, but you're a minor yourself. You need to check with those who'd be responsible if anything happened. Uh, that makes sense. Okay, I'll go check with the san Here I go! Sheesh. Jesus. I can't keep up with these kids. <laughs> Excuse me. Holy shit, she's sonic fast. I got the okay! Inoue-san will drive me and Nanako-chan to and from the studio. How's that? Alright, I, I don't know why you're so bent on this, but since you are, I'll ask you to look after Nanako. Yes! Yay! And just like that, I got Dojima's permission to take Nanako with me to my dance lesson. If I'm being honest, I might have been a little hesitant to dance alone, since everyone's still missing. So I'm really glad I could stay with Nanako at least. Okay, I'm gonna do this. <coughs> when we reach the agency, Onoe, Inoue heads back ahead to the studio to speak with my dance coach. I drop off my belongings and get ready for the lesson together with Nanako before heading to the studio. Good morning! Ah, there you are. I've already spoken to your coach about Nanako-chan, so you can be at ease about it. Hello, ladies! Oh, what a cute little girl! 
Oh, however shall I cope. I did not see this coming. They mentioned a young girl would be visiting, but look at this cutie pie! Nanako hides behind me at the sudden, uh, christening by my dance coach's exuberant outburst. <sighs> Deep breaths, stay calm. I can't blame her. Anyone would be surprised if a stranger suddenly started talking to them like this. Oh, did I scare you? Don't worry, I don't buy. This is Persona 5's Shinjuku night all over again, isn't it? It's okay, Nanako-chan. This guy is my dance coach. Coach? Yeah, he's great. He comes on a little strong, but he's cool. Why, Konami, I'm hurt. <laughs> Anyhow, I hope you have fun while you're here, Nanako-chan. Seeing that Nanako isn't so nervous around my coach, Inoue subtly heads towards <clears throat> the studio exit. He's probably got work to do. Inoue may not look it, but he's always pretty busy. Well then, I'd better step out for now. I'll come get you near the end of the lesson. What's this now? You seem busy, Minoru. Yes, a certain problem hasn't been solved yet, after all. I just realized that his earrings are cherries. Oh boy. Ah, just let them be. Every child runs away from home sometime in their life. They'll come back sooner or later, so give them some time to let them sort out their feelings. <laughs> uh, coach, the children are right here. <gasps> That's right. <laughs> Sorry, Konami. Shame on me for bringing up such a delicate subject. Oh, no. It's okay. Inoue-san, have you heard from any of the others? I guess not, huh? Well, not yet, but we're patching things up on our end, so there's no need for you to worry, Konami-chan. I have to get going. I'll see you both later. Can we make a little bit more progress? It's been like, what, over ten minutes? Uh, anyway, Inoue leaves, and we're both left with a weird tension in the studio. No, that's not right. Maybe it's just my mindset that's making things feel like this. I can't be like that. Nanako's here today. Well then! With the practice, huh? Oh, Konami, no. Your feelings are all over the map right now. <laughs> I can see plain as the nose on your face that you're still fretting over what we were talking about. But you've got to let all that go, even if it's just for now. Otherwise, it'll show in the way you dance. It will? You know it. Dancing takes the emotions you're feeling, whether you're sad or you're happy, and expresses them to the audience. Okay, I like this dude's mentality over Ochimizu. So if what you're feeling is, I'm so lonely, then that's what the audience will pick up on. And that's saying something. Expression. Ugh. A sudden sharp pain goes through my head, and I crouch down, almost collapsing. Ow, what is this? I don't think I was getting sick or anything. Dear, are you alright? Does your head hurt, Kanamine? No, I'm okay. I just got a little ache in the head. <laughs> okay, I've pushed it all aside. Let's get practicing. Mm -hmm. Now that's a good luck. All right, let's go over what we did last time some. Have you got the routine down by now? Uh, probably. Oops. Good luck, Kanamine. So, let's see you do it. All right, now I have to dance. Okay, in that case, let's groove. You're going to dance, right, Kanamine? I'll watch from here. Good luck. Oh boy. All right, <clears throat> here we go. We're not on the midnight stage, so. Okay, time to show what I'm made of. Woohoo! Shadow World. This is going well. I'll say. Here goes. You're really good. Good. There. One, two, three. Here goes. 
Music's pretty good. This is going well. Good. I saw that good, you bastards. Sounded like a parrot. is a lot of fun when I'm not thinking about uh, other stuff and dancing with everything I've got I feel connected to people watching me after I finish the dancing and calm my breathing Nanako rushes over with a smile from where she was watching me that was cool Kanamine it was so Kanamine <laughs> you look like you were having so much fun I had fun watching it oh that's great Yay! Nanako-chan liked it! I was thinking dancing is fun while I did it, just for you. Knowing <laughs> that my feelings are coming across makes me want to try even harder. For... Oops. Dear Konami, don't tell me you're... <laughs> huh? Ah! What did I say? I, I, I don't have anyone like that. <laughs> it's all right, Konami. Being oh. in love makes a woman sparkle. I'll keep it a secret from Minoru, okay? No, I'm being serious. It's really nothing like that. I have no idea what that where that came from, and I didn't mean to say anything like that either. Panicking, I noticed the studio door opening out of the corner of my eye. Inoue, or as Coach calls him, Minoru, peeks in. Hey there, how's it going? Looks like I might have gotten here a little too early. Whoa! Hello again, Inoue-san! By the way, Konami-chan, Dojima-san's here. It seemed like he needed to talk to you about something, so I had him wait in an open dressing room. Is that okay? Dojima-san's here to see me? Yikes! I better not make him wait. I'll go see him real fast. Nanako-chan, wait here with Coach, okay? Do you need to talk to Dad? Okay, I'll wait here. Oh, Konami-chan. I mean, it's okay if you did, but... You haven't said anything strange to Dojima-san, have you? Uh... Uh... No way! Nothing funny, at least. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go on then. It's just you know, Dojima-san is a professional. Be a bit more careful than usual what you talk to him about. If you're okay with this? Well, I'm not your watchdog. As long as what you're doing isn't dangerous, it's okay with me. Oh, you have no idea, bruh. Then again, I've been managing Risei Chan, so things like this feel like familiar territory. <laughs> I better thank Risei Senpai then. Alrighty. 
If Dojima arrived uh, this quickly, that means he might have found out something about Tamamin and Yu Tamamin, Yusan, and Miss Ochimizu and the others. I couldn't even keep myself still after thinking that, and I ended up power walking out of the room. Isn't young love sweet? It gets you right here, it does! It's nothing like that. Tamamin is in love? With who? Well, that's sad. Let's not cry too deep. Someday you'll learn the pleasures of having your own shocking love. I don't want to be shocked. It hurts. Oh, whether it hurts or not depends on you. It's the bitter memories that sometimes make life all the sweeter. Get past the pain and suffering. And it's a beautiful, rosy world that's waiting on the other side. Um, I don't know what you mean. But I do like flowers. Good answer. Say, would you like me to teach you a few moves while we're here? Might as well use the time we've got. I'll tell you what, it's on the house. Mm hmm. You've used at least half a year's worth of luck just now, you know? Uh, really? I want to dance too. Someone's on cloud nine, I think. <laughs> that sounds great. I'd like to see Nanako chan dance myself. It's a deal. I'll bring out your inner talent. <laughs> Dojima had been taken to an unused dressing room, and he seemed pretty uncomfortable sitting there. As I came rushing in, I realized, too late, that I'm still drenched in sweat from dance practice. Can't do anything about it now. Dojima-san, I'm sorry for making you wait. It's fine. I should be the one apologizing. You were in the middle of a lesson, no? It's no problem at all. I made sure to clear it with Coach. Are you here to pick up Nanako-chan? Well, that too, but something's come up that I wanted to ask you about. Me? After I left you, I checked with a few publishers to see what they had to say about that mass lethargy syndrome. Long story short, it's the real thing. It's the doctors more than the police who've been getting agitated about it, though. Seems that there's been a noticeable rise in patients with those symptoms. A lot of them are hospitalized already. Hospitalized? No one knows if the video caused it or not. It's still possible that all the cases came down with it for different reasons. But one thing's for sure. This isn't just a rumor. It's a case? Oops. Shit. That's scary. Sorry, I, I phrased that badly. It could all be a coincidence, of course. But according to the doctors, all these patients have the same symptoms. On top of which, I keep coming across that rumor when I look into the victims. I don't have the whole picture yet. It's hard to believe all these incidents are unrelated. And one more thing. There was an odd account in one of the interviews the magazine journalist did. What did it say? One of the interviewees testified they were in the room when their friend was watching the video and got dragged in. This detail got my attention. He said he saw what looked like ribbons when the friend was dragged in. What looked like ribbons. That's what Dojima said. When Miss Ochimizu and you and his group disappeared, they were, there were these thing, thin things that stretched out from plasma and tried to grab me. Are you saying, is that the same thing I saw? Well, we don't know yet. You said that Ochimizu and the rest were wrapped up in that ribbon-like thing and taken somewhere. Whereas the mass lethargy syndrome victims are in comas, but they're definitely in their hospital beds. Which means they didn't disappear. Trying to dig deeper into this is pretty frustrating. It all sounds so insane. But I can't deny the hard facts, the victims, and the witness accounts I keep running across. I'm sorry. This is my fault. Oh, I was just letting off steam. I'm actually more grateful to you. This is a strange case, but thanks to what you told me, I finally have a lead on it. In any case, there's something I need to ask you about that rumor. Sure. What is it? Do you have any idea who this dead idol mentioned in the rumor might be? I'm looking into that too, but I thought it might be faster to ask you since you're in the business. A dead idol. Hmm. An idol that passed away. Since I'm in the same industry, I really don't want to think about think too much about it. But considering the situation, I think hard so I can help out. Huh? That reminds me. Haven't I heard something like that before? Who did I hear it from? Miss Ochimizu? No, that doesn't seem right. I'm trying to remember, but I'm drawing a blank, and my head feels all fuzzy. I try even harder to remember, and this time, a sharp pain goes through my head. Uh, ow. What's wrong? 
Are you all right? I'm okay. This has been happening every now and then lately. <laughs> I think she might be suffering from post-traumatic stress. She could be the little girl we saw at the beginning of the game, who saw the idol hang herself. If you're not feeling well, you should see a doctor. Body is your career, right? Uh, right. <laughs> Still, I don't know who that idol could be. Either that or the memory is locked deep within her self-conscious. It's not that she can't remember, it's the fact that she doesn't want to. Which does seem to make sense if she is the girl we saw at the beginning of the game. It would help if I knew which agency she was with, or any other details about her. Hmm. Alright, I'll look into that. I'd caution you against going around telling anyone else about this. Oh? Why does it have to be a secret? Who'd believe you if you told them people were getting tangled up in ribbons and taken off somewhere? Even if this case is just the way you describe it, the police will need some evidence before they make a move. If spreading it around makes it harder to maneuver, then a detective has to stay quiet while they get the evidence they need. Huh. That makes sense. Is that how it is? I'm not fully convinced, but I agree anyway. That's when I hear loud footsteps yelling out of the hallway and getting closer. Wait, isn't that voice? What the fetch? What's wrong, coach? What's wrong? You're asking me what's wrong? Konami, you have to... Uh-oh. Oh what a fine hunk of a man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No, this is no time to be thinking with my nether parts. You just have to come with me. That girl's amazing. Oh. Let's get a move on, people. Oh, and feel free to come with me, sir. Just as he says so, coach takes my arm and runs out into the hallway again. He drags me backwards along with him, and as I'm scrambling to walk without falling down, all I can do is follow my coach. Hey, coach! Ah! Oh, that escalated. Get invited along? Again, that escalated. Hurry, this way! God, he's excited. What's this about, Coach? As I'm wondering what could have happened, Coach drags me and drags me to the studio I had been practicing in earlier. Wait, what? But the only ones here were Coach Inoue and Oh, it's Konamine and Dad too. I'm sorry I dumped Nanako on you. I stopped by to check in on her. Has she been any trouble? Oh, not at all. You can see for yourself how taken the dance instructor is with her. You can say that again. <laughs> Wait. So this lovely gentleman is Nanako's father? Oh, this must be fate! A father and daughter, both with a hold on my guts! Your guts? Uh... I feel like normally you would have said your heart. Guts, heart, whichever. Just take a look at this precious angel who's descended down to a beautiful, transient world! Nanako, are you ready? Can you do it again? Mm-hmm. You have to watch, Dad. I can dance now. What? You can? You can dance, Nanako-chan? That's amazing. I see. I had been wondering who Coach was praising in the melodramatic way, but I guess it was Nanako. Coach must have taught her something while I was gone, and I guess it must have gone well enough that he wants her to show us. Come on, Konami. Get with the program. Nanako's nervous, so give her some advice. W what? Me? Um, you just have to have fun while you dance. That's the most important part of it, Nanako-chan. Ah, uh, I heard that. It's true. I mentioned this once already, but you're not fooling anyone if you're not enjoying yourself. That's the truth. Okay. You have to watch too, Kanamin. Of course. I'll be watching close from the front row seats. Here goes then. Let's groove. Ah, Nanako-chan's dance. I should watch carefully. Who knows? I might learn something from her. I'm not sure if you guys can hear in the background, but there are a flock of, like, geese flying past my house right now. It's so cool. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna do my best. The Juness theme. Hmm. 
Pretty catchy too. I'm so tired right now, I can barely focus on these notes. <laughs> Okay. After Nanako finishing, finished her dance, my mind went totally blank for a moment. I mean, the choreography Nanako just did. Those were the steps I have been practicing lately and couldn't get the hang of. She just picked it up naturally. Nanako, she's kind of scary. What? Weren't those the steps to the dance I did earlier? They were, weren't they? Remind me. How long did it take you to learn those moves? Ouch. Two and a half weeks. That was amazing. I saw her practice myself, and it's still hard to believe. Nanako-chan might have some real hidden talent. No mites about it. She's definitely got what it takes. Believe me, I'm surprised too. Huh. If I asked you to work with Nanako-chan, do you think you could get her to a presentable level by tomorrow? Of course I can. Just what are you up to? <laughs> you make it sound rather sinister. Still, Nanako-chan, if it's okay with you, would you like to appear on TV with Konami-chan? Hey, wait a second. Did you just ask her to... Yes, he did. Me? I'm going to be on TV? Oh, I see where you're going with this. I think the viewers would love it. Hey, don't joke around, okay? You'll hurt her feelings if she takes you seriously. I assure you, Dojima-san, I wouldn't joke about this in front of you. We had an interview for the Love Meets Bonds Festival planned for tomorrow, but the girls we had lined up can't make it. It would help us out a lot if Nanako-chan would work with us. C come on, this is too sudden. I mean, you want to put Nanako on TV? It's all clean and above board, don't worry. We'll just show a clip about how practice for the festival is going. Konami-chan is getting along so well with Nanako-chan that I thought she'd enjoy doing the interview together with her. Me? Oh my. Of course! Nanako-chan! I should call her Nanako-san from here on out. I'd be glad to have Nanako-san join me. <laughs> that sounds so funny. I'd be glad to. Still, I get how you feel, Daddy. Don't you think it'd be wrong not to ask how she feels about this? Don't you ever say that again. <laughs> know something? 80% of the time, a child's talent is crushed by their own parents. 
According to my research, anyway. <sighs> Nanako, do you really want to do this? <laughs> Can I? Well, I haven't agreed to this yet, but I should listen to what you want. Would it make you sad if I was on TV? No, of course not. I just want to make sure you don't feel forced into it. Really? <sighs> yes, really. If you want to do it, then I'll cheer you on. If Konami will be there too, then I want to do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just so sad. <laughs> <laughs> a beautiful love between a father and his daughter. <laughs> it brings a tear to my eye. It does, it does, it really does. I'm not tearing up. I'm just tired, okay? That was actually really touching. <laughs> well then, Nanako-san. Want to do some training at my place tonight? It'll be a girls only thing. Girls only? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, girls, but I can't help you two with this today. I've got prior engagements. So sorry. Ah, uh, there we go. Better. And so it was decided that Nanako would appear with me in tomorrow's filming. Since we need to train a little more to get ready for tomorrow, Dojima decided he'd leave us leave before us. I thought I'd have to go through that filming alone, all alone, so I was just happy that someone else would be with me in it. Nanako being allowed to appear in it with me and even stay over tonight made me practically giddy with joy. Alright, I'm gonna do my best tomorrow. After Nanako and I finished our lesson, and Inoue drove, back, uh, drove us back to my place, we relaxed a bit before I decided to call Dojima. Nanako was even great at cooking, and helped me prep for dinner. Even though I'm calling Dojima, I couldn't help but to praise Nanako. Yep, we made it home safe. Mm -hmm. Nanako-san is just fine. Alright, sorry about all this. Do me a favor and tell her to behave. Oh no, she's no trouble at all. In fact, she even helped me cook, which blew my mind. Oh, well, I don't do much around the house. She should know how to do most things on her own. I'll also need you to look after her when it comes time for the TV thing tomorrow. She might be a little troubled since she's not used to that kind of thing, but back her up if you can. Sure thing. I'll definitely back her up. While I'm thinking of it, thank you for looking into my problem. I'll contact you again tomorrow. Good night, and sleep well. Got it. Good night. What did Dad say? He asked me to look after you. He seems totally okay now with you being on TV. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Your room is so pretty, Kanamine. I wish I lived in a place like this, too. <laughs> it's nothing, really. I have everything I need. But I'm not that good at decorating it to make it look cute. I mean, no one visits after all. I'm being honest. The only ones that I have come to my room are the ma are my manager, Inoue, and Miss Ochimizu just a few times. Tamamine, Tomomine, Sumomine, and Nozomine are all members of the same group, but we've never been to each other's places. I think your room is cute. You even have that veggie strainer in the kitchen. Oh, wow! You noticed that, Nanoka-san? <laughs> I use that thing all the time. Not only can you use it for washing vegetables, it's great for conserving water. It's great! But for that to be the thing you notice, you'll make a wonderful bride for someone one day, Nanoka-san. Is there anyone you like? Anyone you'd want to marry? Um... I want to marry my big bro. Well, this is taking a turn for the strangest. Wow, how bold. Are you talking about Yusan? The guy who's going to be on stage with Rise-san at LMB? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. That's big bro. Dad said that me, big bro, and him are a family. Oh, I'm so jealous of you. That's wonderful that you're all together. It sounds like a lot of fun. It is. Do you have someone that you have fun being around, Kanamine? Well, not really, actually. 
I do chat with the other girls in the group, but I don't see them much outside of work. I've never had any close friends since I was a little girl. Really? But there was someone I looked up to. She was the one who got my spirits up. And it's thanks to her that I pushed to become an idol. I think. Huh? I totally forgot. How did it go again? Oh. <laughs> oh, by the way, I like the song Inoue-san was playing in the car. You mean our new song? I'm going to be singing that at the Love Meets Bonds Festival. Really? I learned some of that. I like the part that goes, always by your side, whether rain or shine. Huh? Was that in the lyrics? Uh-oh. Am I forgetting things again? Wasn't it never telling you how I really feel? It is? I'm sorry. Did I get it wrong? Uh, g give me one sec. All right, where's those lyrics? I dig through my trusty bag in search of the lyrics that Nanako mentioned. <laughs> this bag I, that I bought online is a type widely loved by housewives, where the base can spread out. Oh, yikes! With reflexes that even surprise me, I catch my precious diary as it falls out of the bag. Oh. Oh my. The diary. Which means that there's probably going to be a journal entry about the dead idol. But, I guess we'll have to find out in the next episode. Or, actually, since I'm in a good mood, I might make a part two of this. Might? No. That's a yes, I'm going to make a part two. So, bear with me for a little bit. I am going to step away, get some more coffee. Because coffee is priority. So I will see you guys in part two.